Hi friends, I'm Dr. Lavanya and I'm here to speak a little bit more in depth about the cervical cancer screening and the human papillomavirus vaccine. The new cervical cancer screening is done every five yearly in the age group 25 to 74 in females who have an intact cervix and it looks for the presence of any human papillomavirus, both the high risk and the low risk. The high risk, these human papillomaviruses are responsible for causing changes in the cells in the cervix, which in turn can lead to cervical cancer in some cases. There is an age gap or there is a time of about 10 to 15 years for this progression to take place. That is why cervical screening is done more frequently at regular intervals. The human papillomavirus is spread via genital skin to skin contact during the sexual activity. There is no specific treatment available for human papillomavirus, but normal human body's immune system tend to clear this virus quite easily. And that is why we tend to get a positive human papillomavirus in one smear, but in the next screening test, it comes as clear. But in case this virus stays in the body for a long time, it results in cell changes. Here comes the significance of getting a vaccination to prevent the human papillomavirus. This vaccine is best effective if given before the age of sexual activity, before getting exposed to the human papillomavirus. But this can be taken by any young female. And for more information, kindly inquire about this to your medical practitioner. This human papillomavirus vaccine is against the virus so it prevents not only from the cervical cancer but it also gives you protection from vulval, vaginal, anal, mouth and also penile cancer and that is why this vaccine is a part of the national immunization program in countries like Australia done at about 13 years of age and it's given to both boys and girls. Now the early detection of this human papillomavirus can help us to go for the specific treatment and thereby prevent the progression to the cervical cancer. Now, even if a female has a human papillomavirus vaccine, she needs to get regular cervical screening tests because this vaccine does not cover all the strains of uh, cervical cancer causing human papillomavirus vaccine, uh, human papillomavirus. And hence, it's important to get your regular screening to detect other HPV types in your body. So kindly make it a point to inquire more about this vaccination with your medical practitioner and go ahead with your cervical cancer screening. Thank you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe. Thank you.